Hi, I'm Scout Wilkins, and if you came across this video, you're probably aware of my YouTube channel at Scout Wilkins, or my website at scoutwilkins.com. What I want to talk today about is uh, a pair of words that actually have come to matter a lot in my life. I'm very interested in how important language is because of the because of the images and the feelings that it creates in our system when we use a word. And the word that I'm starting with is spiritual. And I've become aware over the last several years that I have an interesting resistance to the word spiritual. And that apparently I have most of my life for a variety of reasons. One, because I tied it up with religion, which I um, had no affinity of from an extremely early age. And so when I was about 30, I, I was able to make the distinction. I came across a wonderful distinction that, that identified the difference between spirituality and religion, which is, um, in the, the words of this author, which resonated a lot for me, is that spirituality is the direct connection with whatever you conceive to be the creative force in the universe. And religion is the situation in which some human or human agency puts themselves in the middle between you and that spiritual power. So it becomes about human power. That made a lot of sense to me, still makes a lot of sense to me. So I can let go of religion as anything that I have to be concerned with. I just am, I am not a religious person. I have my direct connection to um, my own conception of spirit and the, the spirit of what I consider to be life force energy. Still, there has been an interesting relationship even with the word spiritual because I have this, um, this internal image that comes up for me, which is sort of somebody sitting, being very quiet, meditating on a pillow. And um, it actually holds no draw, no magnetism, no, it's not something that I am at all interested in following. That, that image is just, I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be sitting. And it's interesting to me to have now tied this into an early experience in my life. When I was a Girl Scout, I was, I may have even still been a brownie because I was only a brownie and a Girl Scout for a moment in my life, maybe a year or two. And the reason it ended was because what was happening was that as a Girl Scout, what we were being taught how to do was uh, to sew sit-upons, which were some sort of naga hide with newspaper in be between. You fold it over and you sew it with some big yarn thing so that when you sit around a campfire, you don't get your butt dirty. Meanwhile, my older brother, a Boy Scout, was climbing Mount Whitney. This did not set well with the young me. I was so, in, I just was outraged. I was outraged. I was not just resentful. I was like, what is this? I'm sitting around sewing sit-upons while Doug's climbing Mount Whitney. <laughs> it lit me up. And that connection had, uh, the connections we made when we're young, they become images that get tied to a word and, and they affect us all our life until we either unwittingly or wittingly change those. Which is why I'm interested in neuro-linguistic programming because it gives me an opportunity to go in and methodically change the images that I know are not working for me, the ones I want to change. But what happened for me, this was, this was a thing that just sort of came to me. Sometimes life just delivers wonderful little bits and pieces of information to me. And this one came more in that way. And it was maybe within the last year. I can't say when this happened. But it was a delightful change up when I realized that I'm as spiritual as I want or need to be. I have a huge connection to the creative force in the universe. I don't need to explain it. I don't need to know where I go when I die. I don't, I really have no needs around that. I'm good. I'm good with my, my own connection with my spirituality. What I 
need and yearn for and long for and determine, I mean, more than yearn for, it's what I have designed my life to try to reclaim after having really sort of lost it for a period of time in the middle of my life when I judged it, was um, to become a spirited person. I'm, I'm plenty spiritual. My problem, my, my challenge, is to regain my spiritedness. I was a very spirited child, very spirited. Up until a time when I stepped into one of the cultural boxes around what it means to be married or what it means to be grown up or what it means to be a businesswoman or you know any one of those things or many others, what it means to be a mother, where for some reason I stepped inside a box and said, okay, it's time to grow up. It's time to do this the right way. It's time to, you know, whatever. But my little psyche said, the adventure's over now. It's time to grow up. And everything became very serious. I started looking around for how I was supposed to do things differently than I did them as a spirited child. And that lasted probably, I'd say I entered that box in my mid-twenties and mostly lived in it until I was about 50. When it became time, to, my younger son had graduated, I, I was ready to step back into the adventure of my life, and I actually couldn't do it. I, I didn't know what I wanted, I, couldn't, I just couldn't get in touch with the spirited part of me. I had really left her behind. So the last 10 years, well 13 now, have been, without me really understanding it until just recently, that's what this, this last period of time has been about. My awakening process, my awakening to how much of this I carry inside of me, my awakening to how much I can actually do about that, and how little I can do about it in the normal way of, of doing. So I, I just add this to the uh, collection of ideas that are floating around here in the world, that there's... Uh, I am very aware, having coached now for 13 years, that there's a huge population of women who are looking for their spirited self. And I guess the reason I want to film this video is just to say, consider that, consider that word. See if this applies to you, that you're, you're good spiritually. It's the spiritedness that is the thing you may be reaching for. Just an idea, just wanted to put it out there. Thanks for listening.